hello everyone and yeah, welcome back to my channel in today's recipe i'm going to be sharing with you how i made this extra yummy spicy potato pancakes you are going to love this they are very simple to make and it is extra yummy so make sure you watch this video to the end to find out how i made this if this is your first time here my name is grace and i share recipes like this you will find very interesting so make sure you hit the subscribe button below and subscribe to my channel i'll be using irish potatoes for this of course it's a potato pancake i've already washed the potatoes but i don't like the color so i'm just going to peel off the back first I'll go ahead to rinse the potato again before proceeding to cook and I'll be using about 12 size of these small potatoes for these pancakes that we are making. I'll pour in water big enough to cover the potato. Once my fork can pierce through the potato, we all know that the potato is ready. So I'll be taking this off the fire. I'll transfer the potatoes to my multi-purpose grinder. You can as well use your blender or your fork to mash your potatoes. Or you can even use your potato masher to mash it. But I'm using my blender so we can get it very smooth. We need the potato this smooth. To be honest with you guys, looking at this, I wanted to switch over to something else to mash potatoes, but we just have to continue with our initial purpose of this video, potato pancakes. So I'm going to transfer this to my mixing bowl. Remember we said that the potato is a spicy one. So I have here seven scotch bonnet pepper and one big size onion. I'm going to blend it or chop it rather. We don't want it smoothly blended. So we still want to be seeing it in our potato pancake. That is the beauty of it. So I'm going to add it to the mixing bowl. I'm even adding the ones on the cover. <laughs> no one should be left out. I will add in four medium sized eggs and I'll be using one over four cup of melted butter. I'll be adding one cup of milk and I'm going to mix this together. No, I won't be using the spatula. I'm going to switch over to my whisk so that I can get this all mixed up very well everything is well mixed up now so i'll be adding in our uh, all-purpose flour i use two cups of flour for this quantity of the wet ingredients and i use one cup of sugar feel free to reduce the quantity of sugar you are using and i poured in one cup of water and this is normal room temperature water i'll be mixing this all together wait a minute we've not added salt and i use half teaspoon of salt I will mix this all together. Mm -hmm. 
we are ready to fry once it is this well mixed so i'm using a non-stick frying pan to fry this potato pancakes and in my non-stick frying pan i'm just trying to rub my margarine on the pan you can skip this out it's totally optional so i'm going to be scooping this butter into the frying pan one scoop at a time it is okay you don't need to fool the frying pan if not it is going to be very difficult for you to flip it over remember this is not all floor pancake this is a potato pancake and why i like adding uh, oil or margarine to this potato pancake because of the crispy edge edges that is going to have so once the side is cooked i'm going to flip over to the other side and i will allow it to also cook it takes less than a minute for the potato pancake to cook on its side so i'm just going to repeat the same process to the whole pancake batter is exhausted and at the end of the video i'm going to show you the one i fried without adding oil or my butter to the pan you are going to see the difference spreading the butter this way is one of the tricks that i use to get the edges that crispy so if you don't like the crispy aged pancake you can skip that at and just fry your pancake normally but you should give it a try you are going to like it and here we have our potato pancake see how lovely this is looking and it has that perfect pancake texture you can never get let me just show you see how it looks like and look at the edges very well so you can see what i am talking about so we have our pancake this one i didn't add my melted margarine while frying you can see how different it looks but it all tastes the same just a little bit i don't know but you should just try it and experiment what i'm talking about <laughs> thank you for coming to my potato pancake talk <laughs> don't forget to give this video a thumbs up comment below and share my recipes i would like to see you next time bye